Welcome to Bumper to Racket Review and today we are testing racket number 601 and this is the FZ Forza Lite 9.9 .9. Right, as ever we will go through the racket specifications the first thing I can tell you, it doesn't tell me on here that I can see anywhere but we have checked this out, the racket maximum string tension is 28 pounds which is quite it's a nice amount to have on a, on a, on a uh, racket that's fairly light. Um, power rating on this is 10 by FZ Forza. They rate it as a power 10. Um, let's see what we've got here. The sh stiffness of the shaft is mid flex. Mid flex. Now the E zone testing on this racket shows it as a stiff racket. At yeah, so it's a, uh, our machine which isolates the shaft because a lot of most of the machines in the world uh, take a, a stiffness reading from here to here, which actually incorporates the handle and the head. Uh, we isolate this to here, so we know that is stiff, not mid flex. The weight of this racket is 82 plus or minus two grams. The E-zone testing for that shows it as 84.2 grams, so quite accurate. And the balance point on this racket, it's really like tiny writing, is 295 plus or minus three millimeters. The E-zone testing for that shows it as 313, so head heavy. And this time there is no grip difference and you know the balance point is one that we constantly are coming up against because uh, the balance point machine basically is like doing this it's like putting it here and saying well where's the balance point on the racket so we've done the same for all 601 rackets and we'll continue to do the same going forward availability of this so this is actually quite a easy racket to get hold of we don't we won't be selling this at our racket shop but we do have loads of forces available at wwwbampton racket reviewcom and the price range is around sort of 110 pound mark that kind of range uh forces um you know they are really well produced rackets with really good materials i know that much about them and that's why they do drive a premium in price. In terms of the design, well, I've much preferred this design to the uh, Precision 10,000M and Precision 10,000S. I thought those designs were uninspiring, to say the least. Uh, this is quite nice, it's quite bright, it's a nice mixture of colors, good graphics. Um, and yeah, it just it looks like a more current design to me than the previous forces that we've tested on this test session. Have a look at the close-up JPEGs and make up your own mind. Let's do the E-Zone testing. So here are the Bampton Racket Review E-Zone key points for testing. Firstly, all rackets are restrung with the same string. Or well, they were, but this is now no longer being made, so we will be shifting to this string from 2019. All rackets are restrung to 25 pounds of tension. All rackets, 25 pounds of tension. We use the same shuttles, the Yonix AS30s for the control, maneuver, and smash test. The player in the smash test uses the same velocity or same power, or as much as is humanly possible to do so, for each test. The control test, obviously it's the same player with the same abilities. And the maneuver test, well, it's a fairly isolated range of movement, in fairness. That's all the key information for you. Let's get back to the court testing. So let's move to the smash test and see how good this racket is at smashing the shark off.
Now for the E-Zone maneuver test. We want to see what the maximum speed the racket can achieve from rest. In this test, we measure the head speed of the racket recording the fastest speed achieved in kilometers per hour. The player is isolated to move the racket only from start to end as quickly as possible. And what we're trying to measure here is the racket acceleration. And, and this highlights design of the racket, aerodynamics and so forth. Finally, we have the control test. The control test, we basically place five, sorry, four large buckets in front of the player. And his role is to aim every shuttle into the green bucket, which gives maximum score. If, if the shuttle goes into the gray, it's a lesser score. And if it goes out or into the net, it's no score at all. What you're going to see, the clip that we show from the E-Zone testing is just half of the actual test. So what do we think of this FZ Forza Lite 9.9? .9? Well, we think it is a nice, clean, crisp, fast racket to use. Uh, it, it, it has okay uh, smash power, but it does offer very good control. And all round, it's not a disappointing racket. Certainly, I prefer it to the uh, ArcSaber FD, FBs. Um, it's, it's a nice racket and, and comfortable to use. Certainly, you would not be disappointed using the racket. Um, it again is, it is not in our high performance section of our testing but it is definitely above average so give it a go see what you think of it um, don't forget before you leave press the subscribe button like button Facebook Instagram be a proper supporter so show you all your support and if you want to know the full lowdown on this racket all the information all the specs all the testing plus the individual video review of this racket you need to go to the racket e-zone sign in become a member it's very cost effective certainly if you're looking for a racket right now or even if you're a racket fan you want to know what's what uh, our testing is done all in the same way if we sent a racket or not doesn't matter at the end of the day the testing is the testing and whatever the results show they show and that's what we talk about on the videos within the site as well. Here's an idea of how the E-Zone looks like from the inside. I'm gonna leave you with that. I really appreciate you tuning in today and we will see you on the next video.